Hey, this is Baylor from ScoobyDooBeDoo.com, and you'll remember in part 4 we made it so we can add content to the site using a form on the actual website itself. So, uh, it's going to look different because I have styled it with CSS. So, uh, I'll show you the code in a minute. So, if you want it, you can copy it. And so, this is what it looks like now. Uh, let's go to, you'll see I have updated the navigation, and actually that's not supposed to be there yet. But so we go to the main site, and you can see that I've made the navigation okay, go to the main site as well, and I'll show you how I did that. So the first thing I did is I moved nav.php from the admin folder to my modern CMS, and I just linked it to our modern CMS, our index file, just like I did to the admin files, and I edited it so that the links now go from the actual main directory all the way to these folders and files so it was easy to make it where if I was on the main site and I clicked on the con add content I could easily get to it from here and back to the main site and so let's see the style that CSS so the form this is everything for making the form look the way it did if you want it and for the navigation and this is another thing that you might want to add to it if you're still following along this is for what we're about to do where we manage our content so what I'm going to do is create a new file inside admin.php and I'm going to call this manage-content.php and I'm going to add a link to that in nav.php so we'll create a list item add a link to it and so there it is manage content okay and I'm going to copy everything from our index.php from the admin area and paste it into manage content and right here I'm going to go ahead and switch this with our new function we're about to create so object equals manage content okay and we'll just go ahead and create our class or our function inside our class so function manage content and uh, the first thing I want to do is select and I'm going to copy this from our git content but we're just going to want to select everything from the tab base, like so. So I'll go ahead and copy that, which it probably would have been faster if we just paste type it in, but because I'm going to have to edit some of this stuff. Okay, so basically we're just selecting everything from CMS underscore content, which is our table. We'll create our result by querying that SQL code and adding our or die statement, my SQL error. And uh, my fingers are typing what I'm not telling you. <laughs> so we'll create our while, our loop, and we'll pass through this our row. So my school fetch the search. And I use curly brackets. We'll switch those with our end while. And let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is close off my PHP tags like that. And this to make it where I can just type whatever I want inside of here without interfering with PHP code. So the first thing we are going to really want to do is create our div that holds everything. So we'll add a div. Actually, I have to echo this. Echo div id equals manage. And below the while, we'll add echo finish our div. Okay and closes manage div oops and uh, yeah so what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and create a div inside of this and we'll add an h2 tag with a no link and we'll just do row title and I've already explained how that works where it just gets the row title and we're going to echo out actually that needs to go inside of a span actually no I'm sorry 
this as a class equal to title and then we have a span with the class equal to actions and in later tutorials make it where you can edit the stuff so edit or add a link or f equals edit okay and we'll add a href and this also be a, a dummy link and this will go to delete and finish our span let's go ahead and put that back right there and close off our div so let's go ahead and take a look at this so manage content and you can see that the CSS made it look like this so this is our content let me see how I wrote that yeah that's a problem I'll fix that later on but uh, yeah so you can see how it gets all the rows the database it spits out our title and then we can go ahead and get edit and delete them so I'm gonna pause the video and say how long what I'm what time I'm at and see if I can go and show you how to delete stuff. So I have about four more minutes, so I'm gonna rush through this. But what we're gonna to wanna to do is add a new function at the bottom of this. So we'll call this function uh, delete content. And we'll pass through this our ID, and this is, we have to have an ID, so if we don't have an ID, uh, just return false, okay? else we need our id so we're going to add mysql real escape i'm sorry id equals mysql real escape string for our id and we're going to run an sql query of delete from cms content where id equals id okay and uh, we'll go ahead and run this. So res equals MySQL query, SQL, or die, MySQL error. And then we'll go ahead and echo out uh, content deleted successfully. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add, go to our manage content page and or actually in our class for manage content and we're going to change this link to delete to just delete equals row id okay and in manage content i'm going to add a php clause so php if get delete then we're going to go ahead and run our object uh, delete content and get ID like that and end our if and so we'll go ahead and reload the page and I think I'll delete the blah 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 post because I don't think it has anything that important to it so we'll try to delete it and it didn't work oh because this is actually supposed to be delete okay so we'll try this again reload the page content was deleted successfully if we go to the main site you can see it's now gone so thanks for watching the video and goodbye